Let's look at multiplication by using repeated addition, which helps us understand multiplication. Well, when we think about what multiplication is, it helps us to think about groups. Multiplication means groups of objects or groups of things. In this case, the Scout Group has been collecting magnifying glasses and putting them in boxes, and each box has the same number of magnifying glasses. There are five boxes here, so we have five groups. In each group, there are six magnifying glasses. So to find out how many we have altogether, we could add six five times, which is repeated addition. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which equals 30. We can also write this as five groups of 6, which equals 30. And they mean the same thing, how many we have all together. Here's another example to show how this works. Let's look at these groups of people. Each group has 10 people in it. So if we add 10 together five times, we get 50 altogether. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we could write that as a number problem as 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, plus 10 equals 50, which you can see the hand pointing to. It's the same as five groups of 10 equals 50. And when you're doing your times tables, you might say five tens are 50, which means five groups of 10 equals 50. What about if we start with addition and this time try and express it as groups of or multiplication? How could you write this as a multiplication problem? Well, let's picture what that could look like. In this picture, I've got 12 horses in a row and I have four rows. So I have 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Now, if I think of each of my rows as one group of horses, I have four groups of 12 horses. So my number problem would be four groups of 12 or four multiplied by 12. So you know that 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 is the same as four groups of 12, which equals 48. So adding repeatedly is the same as groups of, which is multiplication.